we've gotten a lot of requests for a clicker this year and finally got around to do it thanks to Random Frank P and his awesome method of creating it. So you need one mask that covers your whole head or three in this case to build your own. So we cut the top off like that on two masks. We bought the masks in a local craft store for practically nothing. Then we simply tape those tops onto the full mask, then it covers our head. Just like this. And then we cut off the jaw part. And after a while you end up looking like the Phantom of the Opera. <clears throat> Sorry, like this. Now you need to gear up to use the expanding foam protective gloves and a lot of ventilation or in this case go outside because you don't want to inhale this it's not very good for your respiratory system shake the bottle screw on the little tube thing you can get the expanding foam for around five dollars and get spraying it's kind of hard to control but it doesn't matter because we're going to carve out stuff from this when it's dry this gets the same texture and feel as styrofoam then we continue with wave shaped pieces to be attached to the headpiece and shoulders and be sure to protect the surface you're spraying on with a plastic bag otherwise the foam will be stuck permanently or at least it's very hard to remove then we leave it to dry for two hours while the whole hell breaks loose on instagram abusive and rude comments rain down on us but thank you all who stood up for us we're actually gonna send you a gift some of you so check your dm box the coming days make love not war peace all right so let's remove this just rip it comes off pretty easy from the plastic <laughs> almost looks like an octopus super cool that's where you're gonna stick your head pick up all the small pieces as well and we move into the studio Ta -da! now begins the puzzle and this is where this tutorial kind of gets fussy because your foam piece will probably not look exactly like ours so how you carve and what you carve is pretty much up to you but you want to get that uh, fungus look on since the clickers are people who are infected with the fungus virus and of course be careful when you use a knife or let your parents do it for you most of the clickers in the game have like a canyon or crack running through the middle of the head. So that's what we're trying to achieve with carving. And also by attaching extra pieces to the larger headpiece. And that's what Ellie's doing here. She's carving out a smaller one, one of the wave shapes to attach straight onto the head like that. Then the camera chose not to record when we carved out the hole for the eye. But anyway, flip the mask over and go straight through the hole of the eye. And then carve from the front as well, like this. And yeah, it's popping out right there. And you're gonna be able to see through that. We continue carving out the sides like little steps. But then again, it's your clicker, so make it look like you want. Heading on to the teeth, and we're actually recycling the teeth we did for the Until Dawn Psycho Killer recently. So check that out on how to create them. We need to split them up. And this little crack is gonna be aligned all the way up through the head. All right, so we use the mirror here to make sure they get in the right spot. And then we carve out a little slice there and stick them straight in. They're almost sticking by themselves, but uh, yeah, use a little super glue or any kind of glue to uh, keep them in place. And with the glue, put them in place. And hey, if you're not getting replies to your comments, it could be because of your settings in Google+. So check that you allow replies and comments from everyone, not just people in your own circles. Otherwise, we don't get a reply button on your comment. And more carving. <laughs> Trying to make some extra pieces fit. It's like cutting through bread and make sure you don't cut your hands just be careful it's 
starting to look like something. And we glue the pieces on. And do more carving. We actually carve out large pieces and then uh, put another piece in between. So uh, then we get an, an extra flap or extra layer of fungus there. That's the one coming here. So we wedge that in between. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Now we need some paint on that. This is just water-based paint and we begin with a white uh, base, sort of. And then Ellie mixes in some red with black and white for a more purple shade in the canyon crack running through the head. Then she pushes some black and gray into the hollow areas. With a little red and yellow we get the orange color we like for the edges. Then we need to fade and smooth out the purple color with some white. A lighter shade on the edge and darker in the hollow areas. Then we need some extra pieces to put on our shoulders and chest. Paint them too. And this shout goes to M. Illis for standing up for us in the Instagram chaos. And for doing pretty cool effects, so check her out. Wow, application time. So, we paint the gum red and then we coat that with one layer of clear nail polish. We get the hair out of the way and apply some white color. This is the grease-based colors Ellie is always using. We need to find where we want the little fungus pieces. Apply them with latex or skin adhesive, wherever you want them. And fungus in Swedish is svamp. Head on to purple. A little darker area around the mouth and straight down. Mixing in some red. Yeah, then we spray on and smudge on different kinds of blood here to get it messy. Smudge it out a little and then we apply it. Simply actually stick it to your head, place the rubber. Wow! Might want to hide the rubber there, cover it with hair. Spray some more blood on your teeth and uh, yeah, guess what? You are one awesome clicker. <laughs> If you want to create a movie quality clicker, check out Freakmo's version and technique. It's epic. More game characters for you. Check them out and subscribe. <laughs>